So good morning to those of you who are joining us uh, via the live stream this morning. Uh, we're into the second Sunday of Epiphany, which we observe the uh, baptism of Christ. We remember our Lord himself being baptised at the River Jordan. Uh, just a couple of notes as well we uh, begin. Uh, the service of offering the service orders as normal. Please join in with the words printed in bold print. Remember this morning there's a couple of places where there's an option for it to be the baptism of Christ, not the Tiffany. We'll be using the baptism of Christ options this morning. And a reminder for those of you who are on PCC that our next PCC meeting is on the 20th of January. Uh, because of the lockdown, we'll be doing it uh, via Zoom, the uh, online video conferencing app. If you're on PCC and you don't know how to use Zoom, please let me know. Because uh, the plan is that we'll set up a little trial meeting, a little practice room uh, to, to sign on and see if, if we can help you make sure you can get on rather than leaving it until the evening. So if you need a bit of help with that, if you could just let me know, either let me know on your way out of church this morning or send me a message or something. But uh, now we shall turn to our service orders as we begin our service. So let's pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And, and also Lord. with you. We now have an invitation to confession. Because God was merciful, he saved us through the water of rebirth and the renewing power of the Holy Spirit. But through sin, we have fallen away from our baptism. Let us return to the Lord and renew our faith in his promises by confessing our sins in penitence. Father, we, we have sinned against heaven and against, against you. you. We, we are not worthy to be called your children. children. We, we turn, turn to you again. Have, have mercy on us. Bring us back to yourself as those who once were dead, but now have life through Christ our Lord. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the broken in heart. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You make one by your spirit torn and divided. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We shall now have the first of our readings. Morning. 
the first care. This is the word of the Lord. Thank be to God. We now have our gospel meaning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our eyes have seen your salvation, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory, glory to, to you, O Lord. 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 John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people went from the old Judean countryside, and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him, and they were baptised by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one is more powerful than I, is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptised you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved, with you I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I am sure at times we all feel like a fresh start, like leaving 2020 behind. I'm sure many of you are with me with that. And starting again with a new beginning, in the hope of a better new year. We possibly lay New Year's resolutions with the hope of keeping them. Maybe it was promises made to reduce our alcohol intake, or maybe that long awaited diet or increase our daily exercise. These are relatively straightforward, but not so easy to put in practice. Probably many are already broken. But what about the more difficult issues we have to deal with? Life isn't perfect. We're not perfect. We make mistakes and we have regrets. There are times when it would feel wonderful to leave all our worries behind us and start again. One of the great comforts of the Christian faith is that we know and love God, who by his very nature is forgiving, 
provided we are willing to come before him and repent. In our gospel reading today, it seems that a vast number of the Jewish nation was seeking a new way. Great crowds assembled around the river Jordan, where John the baptizer was baptizing. Now John appeared quite strange, with his clothing of camel's hair, a leather belt around his waist, and he ate loads of wild honey. Now John may be described as a no-nonsense preacher. He would say it as it was. He knew many were sinning, and he called the people to come forward and confess their sins. When it came to baptism, he demanded total immersion from his followers, which symbolised that inward purity and repentance, which would deliver them from immersion in the coming of the river of fire. John was thought to be the last of the old prophets who preached about the coming day of reckoning and who visualised it as something utterly terrifying. The images of purification are always of the refiner's fire, as though the badness and evil could only be burned out of people's souls. But John does not think that he himself is the one who will effectively restore Israel. He is only the herald, the voice crying out in the wilderness. So he points forward to someone who is still to come, someone more powerful. John's baptism in the River Jordan is merely a symbol of renewal, but the more powerful one who is coming will bring a true baptism, not just with water, but with the Holy Spirit. To John's amazement out of the crowd, Jesus appears to him with a request to be baptised. Even John was taken back as Jesus stood before him. John recognised his own sin and was aware that he himself was a sinful man in need of repentance. John considered himself unworthy even to untie the thongs of Jesus' sandals. At first it would appear Jesus' baptism had no purpose at all. John's baptism was the baptism of repentance, and surely Jesus had no need to repent. He was sinless. So what was the point, we may ask? Jesus declared that it should be done because it is the proper way to fulfil all righteousness, as mentioned in Matthew chapter 3, verse 15. There are several reasons why it was Filling for John to baptise Jesus at the beginning of Jesus' public ministry. Jesus was about to embark on his great work and ministry, and it was appropriate that he was recognised publicly by his forerunner. John was the voice crying out in the wilderness, prophesied by Isaiah, calling people to repentance in preparation for the Messiah. When Jesus was baptised by John, the moment Jesus came out of the water, he saw the sky split open and God's Spirit, looking like a dove, come down on him. And a voice cried, You are my Son, the Beloved, with you I am well pleased. Having heard much about Jesus' baptism, we pause to think of our own baptism. It may be for many of us that we were baptised as babies, with very little or no recollection of our own baptism service. Baptism is the very start of our Christian journey. The foundation stone is laid. And it's up to us, as we grow, gaining more understanding and building up our faith, and increasing our spiritual awareness. We make promises of baptism service, or, if a baby is to be baptised, these promises are made by the parents and the godparents on behalf of the child. The promises are made are very important and they are not to be taken lightly. Baptism is seen as one of the sacraments of the Church. It's an admission to the faith, bringing sanctifying grace to the person being baptised. We are cleansed of all sin 
we are renewed and refreshed, and we join our brothers and sisters in Christ in the family of God. Each year we are given the opportunity to renew our own baptism vows on Easter Eve, and also in this church when there is a baptism, we are also invited to renew our vows. And we are invited to respond to the following questions. Do you turn to Christ and we respond? I, I turn to Christ. Christ. Do you repent of your sins? I, I repent of my sins. sins. Do you renounce evil? I renounce evil. You're doing well. <laughs> so today we celebrate the baptism of Christ. We have heard about John, the baptizer, a rather strange looking man, reminiscent of the prophets of old, eating bizarre food and living rough in the desert. He came with scathing indictment of contemporary morals and with a stirring call for the people to repent and prepare the way of the Lord and make his path straight. Jesus sought baptism not for his own sake, but to clearly identify with his nation's unfaithfulness to disobedience. He recognised his own vocation was to bear the weight of disobedience, bringing about the renewal of the people and the nation as he journeyed to the cross. May we be faithful to our baptism calling and surrounded by the Holy Spirit, and may we serve faithfully and follow the teaching of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God and not made of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is brother and the Son, is worshipped and glorified, who spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So now let us worship Jesus with joy and make our prayers to God our Father. In our prayers this morning to the words, by the light of your presence, please respond. Fill us with your glory. By the light of your presence, fill, fill us, us with your glory. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and mighty one, 
We give you thanks for all who have been baptised in your name. We praise you and thank you for our own baptism and pray that we may know that we are always immersed in your presence through your Holy Spirit. Give your church the power to show that we are members of Christ, children of God and inheritors of the Kingdom of Heaven. We pray for anyone who is considering making the commitment of baptism or confirmation at this time. We pray for our God children. We pray for our God parents. We pray for anyone who has been baptised in this place. By the light of your presence, fill us with your glory. Lord, we pray for justice among the nations of the world. We remember anyone held hostage, anyone suffering under captivity or tyranny. We pray for anyone who is a slave to debt at this time. We pray for world banks. We pray especially for them in their dealing with poorer nations. May we all work together for justice and for peace. By the light of your presence, fill us with your Lord, we give you thanks for all who have been concerned with our well-being. We pray for parents and for loved ones. We pray for those who have shared their lives and their faith with us. We pray for all with whom we work and those with whom we spend our leisure time. We especially pray at this time for anyone who we are separated from and are missing spending time. By the light of your presence, fill us with your glory. Lord, we remember any who are feeling injured or abused at this time by illness, accident or circumstance. We pray for anyone who is suffering spiritually or mentally. We pray for anyone who has memories that disturb or frighten them. We remember anyone who has lost confidence in themselves or others. We pray at this time, Lord, for anyone who is afraid, anyone feeling fearful in the current situation. We pray for the world weary, the worn, and the weak. We pray for anyone struggling in mind, body, or spirit. Pray especially today for Susan Baker, Sarah Biggins, Betty Blackham, Janet Colton, Rosemary Cooper, Doreen Cousins, Cheryl Fuller, Caroline Deppner, Jean Goodman, Lee Holland, Keith Jakes, Shirley Lowe, Iris Mapp, Angela Lucas Valley. Wendy Nichols, Anne Noble, June Hyatt, Arthur Robinson, Elizabeth Seeley, Claire Skelland, Alan Smedley, Gerald Spencer, Stuart Squires, Margaret Swift, and Michael Wood. By the light of your presence, fill us with your we pray for all who, having been baptised, have kept the faith. We pray especially for our loved ones departed from us. Pray especially today for Violet Garrett, who has died recently, and William Rayson, Jesse O'Sullivan, Peter Rayson, Harry Buxton, Barbara Smith, Vera Healy, Doris Bassett, Shirley Marley, Alison Hunt, and Diane and Lynn Dempsey. May they rejoice in that greater awareness of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And may we rejoice with them as joint inheritors of the Kingdom of Heaven. By the light of your presence, fill us with Blessed are you, Lord our God, for you have created the heavens and the earth. Blessed are you, Jesus Christ. You came among us and were baptized by John. 
Blessed are you, holy and life-giving Spirit. You descended as the dove, and you fill us with your life. Blessed are you, holy Spirit. In you we live and move and have our being. Amen. Amen. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers for the sake of your Son, Son our, our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. We are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, that we may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called us out of darkness into his marvellous light. Gathered as his people, <coughs> we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Lord, hear the prayers of your people as we celebrate this memorial of our salvation. May this sacrament of your love unite us more closely to you and to each other through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord is here. His, His Spirit, Spirit is, is with us. us. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Holy God. You celebrated your new gift of baptism in signs and wonders at the Jordan. Your voice was heard from heaven to awaken faith in the presence among us of your word made flesh. Your spirit was seen as a dove revealing Jesus as your servant and anointing him with the oil of gladness to preach the good news to the poor. Therefore, as we celebrate the union of earth and heaven, we rejoice to echo the song of the angels in heaven, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. During the same night as he was betrayed, took bread and gave the thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave him thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. And so, Father, according to mine, is his death on the cross. His perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world. Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather to one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of St. John the Baptist, St. Michael, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Together let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our My Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God, God here among us, light, light in, in the midst of us, bring, bring us, us to light us. and life. Jesus, Lamb of God, God have mercy us. on us. Jesus, bearer of our, our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Draw near in faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on living your hearts by faith, with thanksgiving. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you, preserve your body and soul to a lasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith, with thanksgiving. Amen. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for you, preserve your body and soul to the last life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for you, and be thankful.
Let us pray. Lord of all time and eternity, you opened the heavens and revealed yourself as Father in the baptism of Jesus, your beloved Son. By the power of your Spirit, complete the heavenly word of our rebirth through the waters of the new creation, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we pray together. Father of, of all, all, we give, give you thanks and praise that, that when you were still far off, you met, met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and, and living, he declared your love, gave, gave us grace and opened, opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live in the risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the, the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set, set before, before us. So we, we and all your children, children shall be free. And, and the whole earth, earth live to praise your name. Through, through Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May God the Father who led the wise men by the shining of a star to find the Christ, the light from light, Leave you also in your pilgrimage to find the Lord. Amen. Amen. May God, who has delivered us from the dominion of darkness, give us a place with the saints in light in the kingdom of his beloved Son. Amen. Amen. May the light of the glorious gospel of Christ shine in your hearts and fill your lives with his joy and peace. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.